The majority of these high-rise buildings that you see behind me in downtown Honolulu have been maintained by HBM. But since the pandemic, well, the company's mission has gone from fixing up buildings to cleaning up the coronavirus. For the last 60 years, HBM has been focused on bringing top quality service to our over 300 locations on three islands. We have over 700 employees. As of this year, ever since the pandemic, you guys have taken a major 180. Let's go ahead and talk about what you guys have done, what you guys are doing now that's really, really important for our community. We spent the first couple months of the pandemic training constantly uh, getting certifications, getting equipment, getting PPE, getting chemicals, doing all of those things that prepared us to be uh, a company you can come in now and clean up after a COVID-19 confirmed case in your building. I would like for you to touch on how many um, new customers, new clients you're getting per day and what exactly are they wanting you guys to do? We're getting two to five calls every day from customers ranging from like shopping centers to individual tenants within a building. They may have had an employee who came in with a cough and they don't know if they're sick or not and they just want to get the place sanitized ASAP. That seems like it's a pretty extensive cleaning process. We have foggers, electrostatic sprayers, sani sprayers, a bunch of different equipment where you can go in with EPA approved products for treating and fighting COVID. Has your company had to do any, any layoffs or, or anything whatsoever that, that impacted employees? We definitely had some staffing reductions. If you were uh, making benefits with HPM, we were going to hold those benefits for you through COVID. So we didn't want COVID to be a, a basis for your hours cut costing you medical. HBM says they're keeping track of the employees whose hours have been cut due to the pandemic, and they will be offering different positions within the company, which include cleanup maintenance technicians. Lindsay Fricano, KITV4 Island News.